Today we'll be analyzing the cover of Entertainment System's 2007 rock album, Entertainment System 64. When I analyze art, I identify the focal point and see how the rest of the piece supports it. The focal point of this cover is, clearly, the giant robot. Look at it trying to take down those R-wings. Now let's break down the composition of this classic sci-fi city fight. We'll be analyzing four components. Line art, color, lighting, and space. Your ultimate focus is on the robot's face, a natural response to the human instinct to seek out facial features. You're drawn to the robot's eyes due to this instinct, along with the narrow, glowing pupils standing out in their black sockets. Notably, this and the neck are the only part of the robot that contains solid black color. There appear to be eight colors total on the robot, with little blend. It's a richer blue than the sky that backdrops it, and certainly fuller and more robust. Its smooth body contrasts with the many curves, flats, and points in the rest of the line art. The glowing and zapping from its plasma beams add color contrast and action. All these things help establish the robot as the focus of the piece. Now let's look at the plasma beams. The ones shooting out of its shoulder and left hand are straight, fitting for a robot. The big cannon making up its right hand, however, simultaneously shoots six curved lightning bolts. They spread through half of the picture, balanced when necessary with silhouettes of buildings and aircraft being obliterated in its heat. If the picture only had straight beams, the picture would feel empty, and with only the bolts, there would be no balance in the composition. Additionally, straightening the bolts would make the rampage look too orderly. Now for the collateral damage. The robot is steadily destroying the city of Corneria, with the worst damage being the building shattering under its feet. Smoke from the damage adds action and direction to the piece, and so do the buildings themselves. They are made from a variety of shapes, heights, and color tones. Notably, the buildings being crushed are among the darkest, which is a good compliment when it's not underneath the darkest part of the sky. At the bottom of the piece, we have water, which ties down to the other blue objects and provides boats and lights to keep it from being empty. Going back to the sky, you can see how each aircraft was placed well on the page. Finally, as an album cover, the artwork is compact, which in this case makes the action feel more intense. And that's a wrap on Entertainment 64, Big Robot Attack.